Dumpty dum dum dum. Ancient Rome. That's right, boys and girls. It's time for everyone's favorite pastime book reports. Oh, no. Yay! <gasps> hmm. uh, I mean, a boo! Boo! Okay, everyone, partner up. We're writing these in groups of two. Hi, Harvey. Partner? Not so fast, Spellman. Harvey's my partner. Hey. Since when? Since now. Huh? Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> That's what I said. What you say doesn't matter. It's what... I say. Huh? huh? And since you two seem to be having so much trouble picking partners, I'll do it. Harvey, your partner's with... Bernard? <gasps> yes! Sabrina, your partner's with... Jem. <gasps> no! no! Hmm. I know I said you girls could redecorate, but this is a little much. Yeah. Oh, eye patch. And it is, it is a glorious thing <laughs> to be a pirate king. You'll find I'm not so easily bought, girls. Someone will pay dearly for this indignity. We'll give you some time to get used to it while we work on the upstairs. <laughs> Upstairs? You better not touch my litter box. I'm doomed. My life is over. It was nice knowing you. Say goodbye to my history grade. What's the matter, Sabrina? What's the matter, Sabrina? Our matey, Miss Luce, made me team up with Jim to write our report. Well, that doesn't sound so bad. Doesn't sound so bad? Doesn't sound so bad. Nobody asked you. Jem is the most annoying person in all of middle school. She talks annoying, she looks annoying, she even breathes annoying. To think that I have to team up with someone like her? Sabrina, sometimes we have to deal with people that we'd rather not. Then, what's your point? The point is, Jem may bring something to the table that you've never thought of. Uh, I don't know. Huh? Look at it this way. You're gonna have to do it anyway. Why not give getting along a shot? Give it a shot! Okay, maybe you're right. But will you promise me one thing? What's that? Jem's gonna be here in five minutes. Can we lose the seashore? Hmm? Huh? Huh? Hey, some of us are trying to tan here. Hi, Jem. Come on in. Spare me. I figured we could work in the kitchen. Look, Smellman, I'm only here because I have to be. If you want to work on the roof, that's fine with me. As long as you promise to jump off when we're done. Work together, work together. Take a breath and count to ten. Gemstone isn't worth stressing over. And by the way, that is the ugliest cat I've ever seen in my life. Turn her into a mouse and leave the rest to me. Ahem. Meow! Look, Jem, we've been glaring at each other for over an hour, and it's not getting the report done. Hey, I've been ready. <clears throat> the ancient Colosseum was used by the Romans for gladiatorial combat. Ugh, your voice is grating. I'll read. It's my house. I read. Hey! Either I read or there's no reading. Ugh! Don't look at me. I said turn her into a mouse. Where'd you put the book, Jem? Nuh-uh. Not unless I can read. Hmm. Oh, no! Tell me you didn't hide it in the spooky... Uh, cookie jar? You're not getting it back. <gasps> no! <gasps> What's happened? Ah! Arg! Salem, help us! Holy monkeys, what happened? Ah! She put a book in the spooky jar! She put a mortal object in the spooky jar? Oh no, she caused a tesseract. 
A what? A rupture in the fourth dimension. Time! <coughs> What's the book about? Why? What was the book? I sure hope it wasn't 20,000 leagues under the sea. Yeah! <coughs> Sabrina, you tore the book in half. I think that's the least of our worries. Yeah! Did your <gasps> cat just talk? Look out! Ah! <laughs> yeah! Phew. Huh? Ah, ancient Rome. Ulla vecchia Roma. I refuse to believe we're in ancient Rome. The cat talks and speaks fluent Latin. You'd think you could give him the benefit of the doubt here? Look, Jem, before you freak out, let me explain. Oh, I see what's going on, Spellman. Huh? You do? You think I'm stupid? A bright flash, a talking cat, ancient Rome. Last week, I wished on a star to rule the world. Obviously, some higher power has chosen to grant my humble request. You wish to rule the world? Oh, look! Shopping! Gotta admit, the kid thinks big. Jen, wait! I'll take two of these necklaces and a bottle of... What's this? Perfume? Unguent of beaver lips. Oh, um, on second thought, no thanks. Do you take plastic? Huh? Wow, you are ancient. Well, don't worry. I've come from the future. Hey! Jem, listen to me. You've got to try to fit in a little more. We're going to get in trouble. Never mess with a stone when she's shopping. Jem, I'm serious. There she is! Thief! Thief? Oh, silly ancient one. I was going to pay you. Here. Do you have change for a 50? Paper money? There's no such thing as paper money. In fact, there's no such thing as paper. Come with me. You're going to jail. Um, I don't think so. See, I'm a princess from the future who has come to rule you charming little diaper-wearing primitives. <gasps> Jam, stop it! Princess, we only answer to one ruler. Caesar, ruler of the world. Caesar, huh? Take me to Caesar. Maybe we can go halvesies on this whole world thing. Okay, Jam, I'll just catch up with you later then. Whoa. <laughs> Hang tight, I'll follow you. Don't worry, this will all work out. Giddy up! <laughs> I hope. Meow, meow! Hmm. Um, I, I mean, meow, me, 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 me. I came, I saw, I meowed. <laughs> bye bye. Oh, goody. You're such a lamb to bring me my tea, Brutus. I found these two in the bazaar, Your Majesty. They say they're from the future. Ooh, from the future. Bring them closer. Those are strange robes and sandals. If you're from the future, tell me what it's like. Well, let's see. You're boring me. Bored, bored, bored. How's this? Tell me of the future right now, or I'll send you to the dungeon. Right! Um, we have, um, a cars. <gasps> cars! Cars! Oh, I do like the sound of that. Uh, tell me, future girl, what is this car of which you speak? It's like a carriage, but you don't need horses. <laughs> then how does it move? From its engine, I guess. I don't really know. You just put gas in it and it works. And you hit the pedals. Um, we also have potato chips that come in a can. Bow down, Ancient One. I am your new princess. Bow to the light. A mini lantern. Ooh, spooky. Nice job, Jem. Like you were doing any better. I don't know how it works. Hey, you're the one who got us into this mess. That's it. It's go time, you and me. 
You better jump. Yeah! No, good show, good show. How terribly diverting. Shall I take them to the dungeon, sir? No, they're a spunky pair. Take them to the Colosseum to battle against each other as gladiators. Alleged future girl versus alleged future girl. A fight to the finish. He wasn't talking about us, was he? Hot this doggises, let loose the dogs of hot, and cursed be him that cries, hold the mustard! It's a good thing we're gladiators, because I'm going to gladiate you. You don't stand a chance. Behold the training chamber of doom! <laughs> Recruits, they are to fight a day from tomorrow. <gasps> okay, new friends, the coast is clear. Hi! You're just in time for tea and crumpets, and after that, huh? puppet huh? shows. Stop pushing against me, Jem. Hey, there's more where that came from. Whoa! You two are spunky. Careful, someone might get hurt. What do you mean? Isn't hurting each other your job? <laughs> Goodness gracious, not at all. You see, Caesar really just wants to be entertained. And if he had his way, why, we wouldn't last more than one match. We figured out long ago that the best thing to do is work together. Put on a good act, rotate costumes, and everybody's happy. For instance, take old Slim here. See, Stan there's strong, but he's slow. And Slim here is fast. Go! Oh! <laughs> but he tires easy. So we worked out a system. We use both of our talents to make it a heck of a fine match, and nobody gets hurt. What about the fans? Oh, they know it's a fake. They just like the drama. Gosh, all hemlock. Everyone but Caesar knows it. <laughs> Well, I'm not working with her. And I'm not working with her. Oh, we'll see about that. In the meantime... Oh. no slacking. <gasps> Okie dokie. Now, remember, work together to choreograph your moves. When it's done right, it's like a dance. Here, Slim and I'll show you. Now you try. Remember, it's about timing. Okay, I'm... I kinda like this. Hey, I wasn't ready. Hmm. All righty, so you didn't do so well with the staffs. Let's try some simple acrobatics. What I'm about to show you is Caesar's favorite move. It's called the Legionnaire Flip. <gasps> now, this is where the crowd usually cheers for me. Now, your turn. I think you understand the basics of what we're trying to teach you here. I understand. Basically, I'm going to stomp her good. <laughs> Girls, listen to me. This is serious. If Caesar thinks you're faking it, he'll make you fight for real. Good. Better. Best. Better than best. Better than better than best. Oh, brother. <laughs> you had to get sent to Rome, not Egypt. Cats were sacred there. Salem! Good news! The time portal is still open. 
For how much longer? I don't know. They tend to stay open until the most dramatic moment, which is pretty soon if you don't get out of here. That would be easy if we could get out of our lousy cells. Slip through these bars up here. Just give each other a boost. No way. I'm not boosting her. She'll leave me behind in a hot second. Like you wouldn't. Stop being babies and work it out. We don't have much time. I'd rather sit in prison than trust Jem. <gasps> ah! It's time for your battle. To the dressing rooms. Good. Good. Oh, no! If we don't get to that portal, we'll be stuck here forever! Do <laughs> oh, I think this should be a rip-dilly of a fight, eh, too, Brute? <gasps> Friends, Romans, uh, Shriners from Local 137, uh, I present to you, for your salacious enjoyment, a fight to the finish! Yeah! In one corner, a girl allegedly from the future, the powerful Pagan! from the future, the pungent princess! Yikes! <laughs> I must break you! Take your best shot! Let's get ready to go! Falling for that, Spellman. <gasps> oh no! You're right! What do we do? We should have listened to the trainers! <laughs> For some reason, I'm not enjoying the battle. Ooh! Ooh, they're no. faking! That's it! No. Fakers! Fakers! Nobody deceives Caesar! I'm deceit-proof! Guards, seize them! Run for your lives! That rope, I can't reach it. <laughs> open the door, open the door! I can't reach it, do the move! You're not gonna get me back, are you? We're a team, trust me! <laughs> Ooh, the Legionnaire flip! <laughs> I love that move! Bravo, a good show! I mean, slice them up into tiny pieces! It's not moving! I'm too light! Test it? 
I was busy moving half a ton of hay. This way! They see us! Think of something! I don't understand. Everything's the same as when we came through. Wait a second. We ripped the book in half. And the book is what brought us here. Of course! That's Tesseract 101. Fix the book! Jem, if this doesn't work, I'm sorry. Me too. Shut up and put those... Oh, poo. Perfect, Jem. This will be an A-plus for sure. How's that book report coming? We just finished it. Isn't that right, partner? That's right, partner. Of course, you do realize it'll have to tell everyone at school that we went back in time. And you have a talking cat. I know. One brain rinse, fluff and fold coming up. Ugh, I just had the worst dream. I dreamt that, that, oh, never mind. Can I leave your stupid house now, Spellman? We're done with the report. Sure, Jim, whatever you say. Meow! <laughs> 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 Monday morning assemblies. My Uncle Lou's new wife, the one who gave up being a school librarian to write a book about being a school librarian. So, any guesses what today's assembly will be about? Hallway safety part two? The importance of flossing? The joys of stamp collecting? Stamp collecting? Really? Now that is righteous. You disagree? Students of Greendale Middle School? Huh? It's that time of year again! Time to select this year's Student of the Year! The student whose picture will be added to our own beloved Greendale Middle School Wall of Achievement! It can't be! Yes! Every year, one student has his or her picture added to this wall. And that lucky student is selected on the basis of academic performance, athletic achievement, citizenship, and popularity to become Student of the Year! No! Uh-oh. Uh, I was just, uh, contemplating the possible consequences of not observing proper hallway safety procedures during a fire drill. Really horrifying, you know? Harvey, mi amigo, I'm telling you, there's something about Sabi. Miss Spellman, it's nice to know that last week's assembly topic has had such an effect on you, but today our focus is on the student of the year! <laughs> Now, as I was about to say, the voting will take place on Thursday, and after all the votes are tallied, the name of the Student of the Year will be announced in a special assembly on Friday. The assembly will be covered on local television, as will the placing of the honored student's picture on the Wall of Achievement. Who will it be? Oh. Hey, what's up with all the stressing over this wall, Sabrina? Yeah, it's like you're looking at some kind of nightmare or something. In a way, I kind of am. Amazing. She looks just like you. She's my great-grandmother, Greendale's first ever student of the year. And that's my grandmother, and here's my mom. They were all named Sabrina, and they were all student of the year. It's kind of a tradition for the women on the mortar, uh, on my mom's side of the family. 
That is so cool. No, it isn't. Think about it, Chloe. Now everybody is going to expect me to be student of the year. But what if I'm not? What if I don't make it? <laughs> Uncle Quigley, Aunt Hilda, Aunt Zelda Salem, I'm painfully aware that you are wearing bags on your heads. Dare I ask why? You let your family down, Sabrina. <laughs> We're so ashamed <laughs> that we can't even show our faces in public. <laughs> It would be a lot easier on all of us if you just hit the road. Move to Guam, maybe. Change your name. I understand. I'll go. And I'll change my name to Gertrude and take up coal mining. You'll never hear from me again. Well, that went rather well. So, can I have Sabrina's room? What am I going to do? I can't disappoint my whole family. I've got to be student of the year. I don't know what you're freaking out about, Sabrina. You're a great student. Yeah, but... Yeah, and a fantastic athlete. Well, maybe not fantastic, but pretty good. I mean, you don't fall down as much as you used to. What Mr. Smooth is trying to say is that we'll vote for you. Yeah, everybody will. Well, maybe not everybody. I mean, Jem probably won't, but that's only one person. Well, maybe two people if you count Slugloaf, but... Allow me to translate. Sabrina, you're cute, you're nice, you're smart, you're in. I am? To, to Sabrina, Sabrina Spellman, Spellman, the, the next, next student, student of the, of the year. year. Hold it right there. Harvey, I have been looking all over for you. I'm having a major party Friday night to celebrate becoming the next student of the year. I'd really love for you to be there. Whoa, time to cash a reality check, Jem. What makes you so sure you're going to be student of the year? Well, let's have a look, shall we? Student of the Year is chosen on the basis of academic performance, athletic achievement, citizenship, and popularity. Oh, good, Professor. You finished my extra credit assignment. A little custom-made bounce in the sneakers. That will take care of athletic achievement. Oh, goody! The blueprints for the new multi-million dollar library my daddy is donating to the school in my name. That's a slam dunk for citizenship. Don't spend it all in one place, boys. Hello? I'd like to order a total beauty makeover for tomorrow and on-site maintenance for the remainder of the week. Thank you! Now, what was that you were asking me? Some clueless question about how I could be so sure I'm going to win? See you at my victory party Friday night, Harvey. Oh, you can come too if you want, Chloe. But I'm assuming that you'll be too busy comforting Sabrina. Ta all! A college professor doing her homework? A complete makeover? Donating an entire library? How can I compete with that? You've got to. I don't want to have to go to her stupid victory party. Yeah, and check this. If Jim wins, she'll be pushing all of us around until we're in college. You know she's gonna treat everybody like servants. See what you've done to your friend, Sabrina? Harvey, another grape. We're miserable, and it's all your fault. Uh, ow! Oh. Don't let us down, okay? Promise? No pressure here, Spellman. Now all you have to worry about is not disappointing your family and your friends. Here you go, my famous liver and bean omelets and toast and strawberry jam. Good, healthy, nutritious food for growing teenage bodies. Couldn't we just order some pizza? There's a great Mexican place on the corner. Maybe they do breakfast. Uh, thanks, Uncle uh, Quigley. She's eating a liver and bean omelet! All, All done, done quickly. quickly. Thanks. Uh, is there anything wrong, Sabrina? Oh, Aunt Zelda, this week they're choosing Student of the Year and... Student of the Year? Oh, I remember when your mother won that award. How proud she was and how proud our mother and grandmother were. It was certainly a day to remember. 
The entire student body gave her a standing ovation. And then the ticker tape parade through town afterwards. And now it's your turn. Oh, Sabrina, we're all going to be so proud. But Uncle Quigley, what if... Oh, my! I better check to see if my old tux still fits. And Hilda and Zelda, where are you going? To pick out outfits to wear to your award ceremony. This is a history-making event. We have to look elegant. I think you should go with something like this. Not bad. Now something dignified for you. Oops, maybe that's too dignified. Oh, that does it, Druce. Oh, you can run, but you can't hide. <sighs> What's the matter, Pumpkin? Afraid you're not gonna be able to keep up the proud family tradition? How did you know? Hey, I'm not an insensitive clod. Believe it or not, I pay attention. I care. I feel your pain. And I thought if you were too upset to finish that liver, I might... <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Uh, remember to breathe. Ah, <clears throat> oh, that hits the spot. It could be the answer to all your problems. Magic here, little magic there, and poof, you're student of the year. No, Salem. If I'm going to win, I've got to do it fair and square, just like my mom did. That's the spirit, Sabrina. You don't need any magical help to win. You are your mother's daughter, a fine young woman, an intelligent girl. You are smart, you are good, you are kind and decent. And come Friday, Sabrina, I assure you, you will be... Student of the year! I'm smart, and I'm good, and I'm going to win. Uncle Quigley is right, I'm... Oh no, this means I'm gonna lose for sure! I'm getting a zit! Sabrina, what's wrong? We heard you scream. You thinking what I'm thinking, Hilda? What are you doing? Isn't it obvious? Paroxia, the queen of the Reflection Realm, is trying to invade our dimension again. Only this time, she's picked the wrong bathroom mirror. I thought we had an agreement. This house is a magic-free zone. Tell that to Paroxia. Stand back, Quig. This is war. Huh? No, it's not Paroxia. Whoever she is, I have a zit. A pimple? Where? It's barely noticeable. You really can't notice it, Aunt Hilda? Are you sure? It's a teeny tiny red thing. All you need is a little concealer. A little concealer? No problem. Ah! Yes, sirree, this is me thinking here. I always put my hand on my chin when I do some heavy duty thinking. Uh huh, it helps me think even better. Hi, Sabrina. Uh, Sabrina, I think you've got a... Excuse me. Wow! Out of my way, everyone. Glamorous and beautiful student of the year material coming through. Oh, it's a bother being so perfect. But my admiring public seems to enjoy it. Ugh. Strand of hair out of place. Better. Nice zit, Spellman. I wouldn't want a picture of someone with a thing like that on her face to hang on the wall of achievement forever. Gross! That's not a zit. Like I started to tell you, Sabrina, there was a dot of strawberry jam on your face. Well, it could have been raspberry, but, but for sure jam. Zit or no zit, you're still gonna lose. That whole proud family tradition thing, what a joke. Like there was something special about those other Sabrinas. They probably only won because they didn't have any real competition. I mean, how hard was it to look good back then? Everything was in black and white for crying out loud. That does it, Jem. Nobody insults my family and gets away with it. You are going to be so sorry. I don't care what all the book reviews said, this guide to the birds of North America is absolutely delicious reading. Over Salem, time to get down to business. 
My, aren't we feeling a little witchy? Let's just take a time out on the smart remarks, okay? I've decided you're right. If Jem is going to try to use her family wealth to win Student of the Year, I don't see why I shouldn't use my family inheritance. Magic! Really? Do you mean it? You're not just toying with me? My mom was special, and so is my grandmother and my great-grandmother. And now, if I don't win Student of the Year, Jem's going to use that as some kind of proof that they weren't. And I'm not going to let that happen. Now show me the magic, Salem. I have just the thing. This entire box of brand new spells was delivered this morning. I got such a deal, you would not believe the money you can save shopping online on the Witch Wide Web. Now, to find exactly the right spell. Popularity, winner's charm, a stuff the ballot box incantation. No, something that will make Gemstone sorry for the rest of her life that she ever even thought about insulting my family. Ooh, I just loves it when you get catty. Ah, uh, 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 no peeking. Make sure Jem's the one who looks in the mirror. Trust me, it won't be pretty. I can't wait. It's payback time, Jem. Now remember, Pi, vote for me for Student of the Year, and I'll eat lunch with you for an entire semester and pay for it, too. Let me think about that. Wait, I've got it. How about you buy me the lunches, but not actually eat them with me? Yeah, later. Great outfit, Spellman. I just never get tired of seeing you in it. Thanks, Jem. What a sweet thing to say. Hug, hug, kiss, kiss. Get away from me! You're gonna mess up my hair! <laughs> nice mustache, Gem. I'd hate to think of a picture of someone with a thing like that on her face hanging on the wall of achievement forever. Gross. Um, uh, of course what she doesn't realize is that mustaches are the rage in Europe right now. All the supermodels are wearing them. My glamorous grip on the electorate is slipping! Get in here, now! That's better. Ugh. Ooh, great wax teeth, Jim. But aren't you a little early for Halloween? Oh, no! I have butt teeth! I'm a freak! Dental of the year. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. Thank you. I look fine now, right? Oh, Jem, I'd ease off on the groceries if I were you. <laughs> What's happening to me? I've never felt so bad in my whole life. It just hurts too much. <laughs> It's okay, it's all over now, you're fine. Oh wow, I thought this would be so great, but it's awful. I'm sorry, okay? Really? Jeez, did I mess up. Welcome students to the annual Greendale Middle School Student of the Year Award Ceremony. The students and the faculty have voted and the results are in. And this year's recipient is a young lady who has made us all very proud to have her as a member of our student body. Don't let us down, okay? Promise? Wow, this is heavy-duty stuff. 
faculty, parents, Greendale students, and all you people out there in TV land. I am proud to present this year's Student of the Year, Sabrina Spellman. Yay! And since this is such a special moment for you and your family, Sabrina, the school has arranged a very special surprise. We have set up a special satellite hookup to your mother at her archaeological dig in Egypt. Go ahead, dear. Take the phone. Hello, Mommy? Mommy? Hi. Oh, oh man. Is this touching? I am so very proud of you. Just as proud as Grandma and Great Grandma would be if they could see what a wonderful girl you've grown up to be. Oh, how I wish I could be there to give you a hug right now. I love you, Sabrina. I love you too, Mom. Thank you for giving me this award, but I can't accept it. Being student of the year is about being the best you can be. For the last few days, I haven't been the best I can be. I've been somebody I'm ashamed of. I've been mean-spirited and selfish, and I enjoyed making somebody else feel bad. I also used unfair tactics just so I could win. Now I'll never know if I really could have earned a place on the wall of achievement or not, all because I tried to cheat. I'm sorry and I apologize to my family and my friends for doing the one thing I really didn't ever want to do, to let them down. I, uh, I suppose then that this award goes to our runner-up, Gemstone. I get it then, it's all mine. I want to thank all the little people I had to step on on my way to the top. Nah, step on this. Sabrina? Go ahead, say whatever you want. I deserve it. I think there's something important that you need to hear first. It's a message, Crystal Ball. Press the red button. You have one message. Honey, what you did was wrong, and I'm so glad that you owned up to it and set things right. You're growing up to be a smart, responsible girl, and that makes me very proud. You've learned an important lesson. Love you lots. That goes double for your friends. Of course, the fact that we still love and respect you doesn't mean that you won't be grounded for a month for cheating with magic. A whole month? Ugh. Good. You found Sabrina. Hey, is that what I think it is? Uh, depends. What do you think it is? It's one of those new video phones, isn't it? Cool. Can I make a call? Maybe next time. Whew. Phew. Heavy lies the burden of being the prettiest girl in school. I mean, you have to watch what you eat, do your hair every day, use the right makeup, which reminds me of this really cute story that happened to me in kindergarten. And I thought the regular school assemblies were boring. <laughs> to end all thrill rides. Word is, your hair will uncurl and you'll puke your guts out. Wow, cool. Gee, Spellman has that same effect on me. <laughs> Ow! <sighs> hey, you did that on purpose. Somehow. Moi? But I'm way over here. Oh, this darn locker's stuck again. When mine 
sticks I call my personal locksmith. Oh, that's right. You don't have one. Some of us think it's better to use our brains. <laughs> oh, that's right. You don't have one. Ugh. Okay, okay. You win today's put-down round. Whew, I sure wish you and Jim would try a little harder to get along. Not gonna happen, Chloe. We're just too different. She's nasty, spoiled, and rich. I'm sweet, charming, and a witch. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Hey, nobody's perfect. So what about this new thrill ride at Wow World? Maybe we ought to check it out. I already am. Tomorrow after school with Pie. Hey, maybe you should ask Harvey. We can all go together. Now that's a killer idea. Not if I ask him first. most useful gadget Daddy's ever bought me. Sabrina? What happened? It's, um, my salute to spring. Uh, listen, Harvey, how'd you like to go try out that new ride at Wowie World tomorrow? Cool, I'd love to go, Sabrina. Great! Uh, except Jem already asked me. Huh? I guess you could come too, but, well, you and Jem don't exactly, uh, get along. <laughs> Sorry. Consider using some conditioner before going on a date, Sabrina. Oh, that's right. You don't have one. And that's the 85th crummy thing she's done to me. The minute I become a full-fledged witch, I swear I'm turning her into a beanbag for life. A beanbag? Great. That cat bed is for the birds. Hmm. Now there's a tasty idea. Breakfast in bed. You know, Sabrina, there is another way to deal with this. Why not use the opposite approach? Take the high road. You mean leave town? I mean, make friends with Jem. Sure, and after that, why not a little pinochle with Attila the Hun? I don't think so, Aunt Zelda. We're just too different. Trust me. Just try it. Think of something that'll bring the two of you closer together. When people put aside their differences, they can do remarkable things. That's true. Remember the Wright brothers, Zelda? Those guys couldn't stand each other until I helped them patch things up. You mean you put a spell on them to bring them together? Not exactly. They finally buried the hatchet because they both couldn't stand Hilda. Every time they'd ride their bikes to work, she'd chase them on her broomstick. She had a crush on Orville. He was a babe. So they invented the airplane just to get away from her. Not true. Orville had a thing for me. Yeah, a restraining order. Did not. Did too. Did not. Did too. Did not. Did too. Did not. Did too. Not. Did. Not. Did. Not. Did. Not. did. <sighs> so much for togetherness. Making friends with Jem? Oh, what a revolting idea. On the other hand, it might not hurt to get along with her for just one day. That way I could go along with everyone to Wowie World and make sure Harvey goes on all the rides with me. Everything would be great. So would a beanbag bed. But I don't know. Making friends with that stuck-up, conniving, spoiled Gemini stone would take... Heap big magic? <clears throat> you said it. Lucky for you, I still have a few little tricks up my furry sleeve. Do cats get hernias? <laughs> Let's see. Thunder, toads, here it is. Togetherness. Guaranteed to bring two people close together. You just sprinkle some stuff on Jem and yourself, then say a few words. Gee, I don't know. Casting a spell on myself? Sounds kind of like taking out my own tonsils. Okay, I admit that didn't work out well, but trust me on this. Just hold the pouch. Steady. A pinch of newt sweat. Susan of henbane. Dragon lint, this and that, and chicken fat, voila! That's it? What do you want, David Copperfield? Just sprinkle a pinch on you and Jem, then recite this incantation. Bingo! Guaranteed togetherness. I don't know. Maybe I better test it out first. Not did. Not did. Did not. Did so. Did not. Did so. Did not. Did so. Be as close as close can be, fast as I say, one, two, three. Oh, come on. How about I buy you dinner at the mall? Only if I get to take you shopping, sister dear. <laughs> wow, this stuff really works. Salem, you're a genius. <laughs> Harvey, over here. <laughs> Thanks for saving me a seat, Harvey.
RV? Huh? Uh, oh, uh, you're welcome. Love your shoes, Spellman. You'll have to give me the name of your thrift store. No problem, Jem. It's right next door to your groomers. Class, in going over yesterday's poetry writing assignments, I was pleased to discover some very promising young poets among you. One poem in particular had imagery worthy of a poet laureate. It better. I paid someone big bucks to write it for me. It was truly remarkable in its mise-en-scene, its glorification of the first person. Say, Spellman, as long as you don't have a date later, why don't you go home and write a poem all about being a loser? <laughs> <gasps> all right, that's it. It's now or never. Class, I would like you all to have a chance. Be as close as close can be. To hear this remarkable poem read by the author. Fast as I say, one, two. Gemini Stone. Me? Ah! Oh, I'm so surprised. Uh-oh. Hey, let go. I, I can't. What do you mean you can't? Spellman, if you don't let go this second. Oh. Oof. I'm telling you, I can't. We're, we're stuck together. <laughs> 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 Whoa, definitely x file worthy. Stuck together? What are you talking about? And what is this green guck anyway? Uh, must have got it on my arm from science class. I guess it was still tacky. And so are you. Gemini, we're all waiting. Sabrina Spellman, you're just trying to ruin my moment. Well, you're not going to. <laughs> Ow, quit pulling. Keep up. Thank you, Miss Drone On and On. Here, Spellman, make yourself useful. Gemini, you cutie pie, an epic love poem to myself. My eyes are as brown as the silt dark sea, cast down from the heights of destiny. This should solve it. I'm getting separation anxiety, Spellman. I want to be separated. No! Relax, will ya? I'm sure this belt, uh, stuff will just wear off by itself. It'll probably be gone by tomorrow. Great, but I have a date with Harvey today. Well, then I guess I'm coming along too. <laughs> Let me get this straight again, muchachas. You're stuck together because of bad chemistry? I don't want to talk about it. Hey, I'm starved. How about some corn dogs? Yuck! I hate corn dogs. I want cotton candy. Ew, how sticky sweet. Oh, what do you know? Whoa. Mmm. Just keep that fluffy glop away from me. Mm. Don't worry, Spellman. I'm not into sharing. Oh. All right. Won't be long now. Hey, where's Chloe? She's gonna miss the ride. She got bored waiting in line. Mm -hmm. She's into cleaning out the park. <laughs> hey. Come on, Chloe. We're going in. You go on. I'm setting free the bear. <laughs> Oh man, that was awesome! Yeah, great. Nothing beats cotton candy up your nose at warp 10. Fabu! Let's do it again, dude! <laughs> man, it just gets better every time! Yeah, let's go again! Harvey, it's already been six times! Hey, I'm up for it, pardon. Of course, if you want to chicken out, Spellman, I guess I'd have to, too. Oh, no. Ugh. I'm up for doing this all day. Unless, of course, you're not. Me? I just love this ride. Great! Da -da -da -da.
there two of you? If there are, we're both ready to barf. Come on, dudettes. We're going for the park record. Yeah, 26 and counting. Ugh, 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 ugh. Corn dog. Corn dog? Oh, right. We need corn dogs. I thought you hated corn dogs. Me? No! I love them. Yum! All the basic food groups on a stick. Nature's miracle. Gotta have one. But but you might miss the ride. Oh, uh, that's okay. Really, just start without us. Yeah, we could be gone for quite a while. Hey, no prob. We'll still be here, riding this monster till closing time, right, dude? Hey! Two corn dogs, please. Hey, Sabrina. Hope you guys are having as much fun as I am. See ya. Good thinking. That was close. Yeah, too close. Harvey and Pi are still looking. Better take a bite. Ugh! Try it with mustard. See, that wasn't so bad. Don't push your luck, Spellman. If I get sick, you're in the line of fire. Hey, there's Chloe. Let's go hang with her. Not till we go on my favorite ride. Come on, boys and girls. The next flurry boat is leaving now for Sappy Happy Elf And I thought the central luge was stomach turning. Do they sing all the time? Don't they ever take a mechanical potty break? Elf, I will make you smile till the day is done. Oh, I just love this place. Oh, what's the punishment for killing an elf in this state? Ooh, the diamond mine. Either this place is making me crazy, or this stuff is getting harder. I'd better talk to Salem. Elf, I will make you smile. Come on, Jem. Let's get off this island. I need to use a payphone. Till the day is... And now the goop is getting hard, huh? Hey, I'm sure it's nothing serious. Let's see. Nope, nothing here but a big old catnip stain. Uh-oh. Warning. Oversprinkling can cause severe side effects, which will be permanent. Are you saying that Jem and I are going to be attached to each other permanently? Wait, there's more, which will be permanent if not reversed within eight hours. See your local witch or warlock immediately. Uh, I guess in this case, that's furry little me. Can you figure something out? I'll try. Just be back here before the eight hours is up. No problem. I've got plenty of time. No, you don't. You're on my dime. Hey, I'm not through. Yes, you are. Daddy says my cell phone bills are high enough. Ugh. <coughs> now look what you did, Spellman. Sorry. Ow! Jem, we've got to get back. I mean it. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm not through yet. Elf I'll sure is fun! Listen, see how hard this goop is turning? If we don't get it off real soon, it might turn solid and we'd be stuck together forever. But you said it would wear off. Yeah, I know, but what do I know? I just talked to uh, my uncle, and he has some uh, solvent that he thinks might get it off right now. But if we wait much longer? Well, why didn't you say so? The sooner I can get free of you, the better. Elf hater. Fine, we're out of here, this way. <laughs> Wrong. I know this place better than my father's bank balance. <laughs> <gasps> Been to an ATM lately? This way. I should have known better than to listen to you. This way! No, this way! <laughs> oh, great! Nice work, Spellman. You made us miss the boat. Me? Half those wrong turns were yours! I've fallen over every elf on Muddy Critty Isle. Never mind. There's a boat every 20 minutes. <sighs> I can't find the antidote. What am I supposed to do? I'm only a cat. Sabrina, we brought you some Salem. Is there something wrong? 
Uh, nothing really. I just need a little reverse togetherness spell. Not for me, of course, but... Reverse togetherness spell? Uh, why do you two think you've been so chummy lately? Why don't you stay a while? Elf, I will make you smile. Elf, I'll sure is fun. It's well, been 25 minutes. Where's smile, that boat? Shh. Just look at that little elf. No wonder he's always smiling. He just works all day alongside his teeny tiny papa. No one expects him to dress for success or be the most popular or do anything but make shoes. I know what you mean. My mom's always expected me to get straight A's, to be tops in my class. That is, when she's here. At least your folks are always around. Ferry leaves every 20 minutes. Last boat, 5 p.m. Jam, it's 5.30. That was the last boat back. Perfect. The one you made us miss. I better call my dad. He'll get us out of here. Hey! My new phone! Spellman, this is all your... Hey! This stuff is getting harder. I uh. told you, we need to get off this island and back to my house now! There's no way! It's impossible! Not if we work together. I mean, we got out of Central Luz Ride 26 with a corn dog, didn't we? Come on, give me a hand. We can use this log for a raft. <laughs> Great, a cement log. Well, something on this island has to float. Kick, paddle, kick, paddle, kick, paddle, kick, paddle. Couldn't we have tied them together face down? Kick, paddle, shark, shark! It can't hurt us, it's just mechanical. Abandon L! <laughs> Jam together, roll left! Yes! Uh, we're not out of here yet, Spellman. Kick! Paddle! <laughs> Made it! Spellman, you look awful. Hey, we're in a lot better shape than the sharks. <laughs> uh-uh, no way. Sorry, but this is the only thing that'll do the job. Hey, it's either that or... Okay, on three. One, two, hey! Oh, oh, what happened to three? Spellman, you're gonna hear from my lawyer. Oh, you think I enjoyed it? Not. Hey, we're free! And I hope you two learned that the only way to accomplish anything is to put aside your differences and find out what you have in common. Well, I hate to admit it, but deep down, I kind of like those platform shoes. Yeah, well, that corn dog didn't taste quite as toxic as I thought it would, especially with mustard. That's my limo. You want to borrow some of my clothes? And risk having someone see me in them? As if. <laughs> Guess this friendship thing is going to be harder than I thought. Oh, I don't know. I think you've made a good start. You know, this goop wasn't what freed you. The only real way to break this particular spell is for the two people to learn to cooperate with each other. What? Then why did you need us to jump in that guck? Hey, Hilda's baking a cake. She needed someone to stir the batter. <laughs> Thank you.